Hey Star Wars fans and Black Series action figure collectors, welcome back to another toy review. And it, while it has been a little bit since I've, uh, well it's, it's been a few weeks of sort of relatively low activity here on my channel, but I'm still around, I still know how to do this thing. I'm still, you know, I still haven't forgotten my roots. I'm still hanging out, still, still doing this collecting thing pretty much just waiting for the next sort of waves to sort of hit now um which is where this one comes in obviously bib fortuna this one arrived today um from uh, green rock comics over in sydney or melbourne i think maybe even brisbane i'm not sure but uh yeah it looks like a absolutely cracking figure i've been looking forward to this one because i uh, absolutely loved the recent vintage collection release so this one looks equally as awesome and, uh, and uh, more Return of the Jedi love this one will go very nicely with my Jabba the Hutt and Gamorrean guards when I eventually get a shelf back <laughs> um, to be able to do that but for now he will just hang out in my uh, temporary toy box but uh, in the meantime Let's crack him open, have a look. You can have a little read up there. But let's crack him open and have a look at the figure. All right, here is the figure out of the packaging and this one is pretty impressive. I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about his accessories because he comes with some space cups. So ever so tiny, ever so blurry. Go one little space cup, it's a little drinking apparatus, <laughs> interesting accessories to say the least. Here we have another cup, I think it probably put some liquid in there if you like, wouldn't be overly, overly satisfying to drink out of unless you're an ant. Shout out to any ants that are watching. <laughs> and this one, which is a uh, very, very Star Wars-y, if you ask me. So yeah, three cups, no weapons with this guy, despite previous releases of him coming with knives and staffs and all that sort of stuff, but that's okay. He doesn't really have any of that stuff in the movie, so. <laughs> and by the time he gets not nice and fat for Book of Boba Fett, or the, the prologue to, sorry, epilogue, epilogue to Mandalorian season two, he has put on a fair bit of weight. So yeah, not totally accurate anyway. So what gets me is Hasbro's decided to go with like a softer plastic instead of soft goods for this figure. Whereas the vintage collection got the, got the works and it worked really, really well. Um, so I don't know why, I guess there was probably some expense um, save there, which, you know, it's fine. It is what it is. We still have the character. He still looks good. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, you've got that. It's a little bit clunky. I know there are some fantastic people out there doing custom soft goods. And, you know, if you've got the uh, vintage one and you can copy the layout and just upscale it to be this, um, so I think I imagine it's upscaling it by about 65% um, to get this scale from three and three quarter inch, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you can absolutely replicate that if you're a little bit handy with a sewing machine. But uh, I know most people's gripe with this figure is sort of the blues that they've used to sort of shade. It's not super obvious. Um, some of the press shots were a little bit more obvious in the in that sort of marking but i think it works you know he's sort of in a dark place so you gotta have that sort of shading i don't think it looks bad better than if it was like you know just a one solid color so it does add a little bit of depth which is nice i do like his hands i think they look really really cool and disgusting <laughs> it is disgusting yellow fingernails you need a manicure sir but yeah it looks looks really good 
and I think he will hold a cup so that's what I'm going to do it's, uh, you know everyone's got to have a drink after work don't they why can't Mr. Bib Fortuna can't he have a nice cold cup of Jawa juice but yeah aside from that the sculpt on the head is really nice the sort of head tail that's wrapped around very sort of unique look for a Twi'lek obviously it's sort of the look of a Twi'lek was sort of you know evolved more after after doing this because it's uh yeah a little bit different here's a sort of bigger cranium bigger skull the head tails are you know obviously different whereas they sort of come more so out on their own but who knows this all sorts of variants to humans so why can't there be sort of interesting variations to Twi'lex as well but yeah the face sculpt is fantastic it's really really nice got these little chin dangle dangle things I don't know what they are chin stickles You've got the sort of armor plate under there, and yeah, these are just going to keep popping out, I think. Unless they are glued in properly, but that's okay, doesn't matter. Pretty sure he's sharing the same legs as Lando, perhaps? The feet might be different. I don't remember, it's sort of a little bit, sort of got almost corduroy, like micro scale corduroy. Who knows? Do one the longer. So, yeah, really, really cool figure. Nice addition to the Black Series. Nice to finally starting to see some of these newer waves. Um, you know, they've, they seem to have been coming out in the US and stuff for the last couple of months already. Um, and yeah, it's been a little bit of a slow process getting them, getting them down here to Australia, but hopefully we'll start seeing the rollout of these next couple of waves in the next, within the next month. That'd be fantastic. Um, you know, it, I'll be honest, it's been kind of nice to have a bit of a financial break from, from buying figures, but, um, I'm ready to, I'm ready to start hitting up some more. So I'm excited. Please let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. If you're new here, please subscribe and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really, really appreciate that. I'll be uh, setting up a live stream for hopefully sometime this week. So stay tuned to my social media. Looking forward to getting back and chatting with everyone on hopefully a bit more frequent basis than I have the last couple of weeks. So I appreciate everyone sticking around. Thank you all much, very much for your support. And I will see you all on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.